Hello everyone and welcome to Silent Hill Shattered Memories. Uh, we're continuing the Silent Hill series and moving on to the next game that was released uh, after Homecoming, which we've recently completed. Uh, for those of you that may be new to the channel or dropping by or maybe haven't seen previous playthroughs, uh, we've been working our way over time through the Silent Hill games, uh, most recently Homecoming, uh, but we did the original four. We also did Silent Hill Origins, um, and we're now moving into Shattered Memories, uh, with I believe Downpour being the next game after that. Uh, so I know nothing about Shattered Memories. I'm assuming it's about memories that have been shattered, and we must piece them together in a foggy town of Silent Hill. Uh, that's all I can really glean from it. Uh, Logo looks pretty interesting. Uh, looks like we're doing more of like a icy, snowy theme. So with the blue, I have a, a with the title screen, I have adjusted my setup accordingly. We're being very blue today. I don't know anything about this game, which is exciting. Um, it's, you know, I know that people have, you know, conflicting opinions on the Silent Hill games after Team Silent stopped working on them. Homecoming I enjoyed for the most part and it kind of all fell apart at the end. Origins I didn't really uh, I didn't really don't really have a positive experience with with Origins that was kind of a an awkward time so it was a bit hit and miss but we'll see what Shattered Memories holds for us. So let's start the game. We are playing the PS2 version of the game. Uh, I am aware, at the very least, there has been some discussion of this within my community on the Discord uh, about Silent Hill Shattered Memories being a Wii game. So it originally had motion controls. That's, I think that's how it's meant to be played. Uh, however, getting the, the game on Wii, setting it up so I can actually record it, and standing in front of you waving around a Wii remote, um, probably a, a little bit too much effort for this one. So we are going with the PS2 uh, port of the game. I think it also got a PSP uh, release as well, interestingly enough. But yes, PlayStation 2 version. So it should be fine. I, I don't think there should be much differences, I guess, except for, you know, not having motion controls. But let's strap in and play Silent Hill. Uh, if you haven't yet, please do consider liking and subscribing. I'd love to have you join the community. It means a lot to me and it helps me be able to continue doing this and beating that lovely YouTube algorithm. So without further ado, let's start the game and get into it. Oh, oh, we going, we going found footage horror. Okay. Shattered memories in the form of uh, some videotapes. Profile select. New profile. Oh, okay. Um, that's an interesting setup. Uh, what's our character limit? Can I get my full name? Can we get it all? Nice, we can get it all. Yes. Awesome. Ooh, this is so bizarre. Okay, let's check out... Sweetie. Uh, subtitles are on. Tutorials. Uh, I guess we'll see what's going on. We'll put them... Hang on. There we go. Subtitles on. Tutorials on, because I guess we'll see how this game plays. Uh, music volume. That's always a good thing when you're playing a Silent Hill game, right? You're getting Akira Yamaoka on the soundtrack, and you're getting Mary Elizabeth McGlynn at some point, and that's how you know it's a good time. That's how you know it's a good time. You're getting just some masterful music, at least. Okay. Subtitles on. Play game. Sweetie. Sweetie. Wow, so we're going with the father... Daddy. We're going with the father-daughter angle again. Interesting. Sweetie. 
Silent Hill is all about family, baby. Oh god, and it's just replaying over and over, okay. I love my daddy. Akira Yamaoka, baby. Are we just watching it on repeat? <laughs> Alright then. They really just want to drill it into you, dude. snowy town of Silent Hill. So who have we had? We've had Harry, James, Heather, Henry, Travis, Alex. We've had those are our Silent Hill protagonists so far. And we're playing as another father figure, I'm going to assume, if we're going with a... Uh, this found footage, I love my daddy angle. So, let's see what happens. Yes? The new patient is here, they're early. That's fine. We can start now. That's the car we got into at the start of the found footage thing, right? It even starts the same as the first game. We crashed. And I'm looking for my daughter. Is that intentional? They're really just evoking the first game, then. What is happening? I'm glad you came. Just turning up shows your commitment to the process. Good. I've read your notes. The other therapist didn't work out for you. I want you to know this will be different. We take this at your pace. No notes. No drugs. No theories. We go back to the start. Understand what happened. Take a look at this short form. I promise it's the only one you'll see during your therapy. Try to answer truthfully. It's easier that way. Whoa, whoa, what is happening? Okay. Ghana Sabelle, personality inventory form. What is, what is, what is going on? We're, oh, I make friends easily. Um, sure. Having a drink helps me relax. Sure. I always listen to other people's feelings. Yes. Uh, I prefer abstract ideas. Uh, yes. I've enjoyed roleplay during sex. Is anyone watching this? Is, it, is, it, is, it, is anyone watching this personality test? Anyone out there? Huh? What's going on here? What's going on here? <laughs> Why are we playing the Silent Hill personality test simulator? Why am I getting exposed in a Silent Hill game? What's happening here? Working to a plan or schedule is best. Yes. And I have never cheated on a partner. Oh, true, baby. Let's go. Let's do it. Never cheated on a partner. Really? He asks the he, he asks on the last one. Oh my god. Okay. It's very unprofessional of you, sir. This is supposed to be anonymous. Let's get started then. I don't see what that that has to do with anything. <laughs> what does that have to do with it?
I like to role play as a cave troll in the bedroom, personally. Cheryl. Cheryl. What? Sweetie? What is going on? Why is Harry a dork with glasses? Cheryl? Cheryl? Are we retelling Silent Hill 1 right now? Cheryl! What? What the fuck? <laughs> what? Why are we in Silent Hill 1? Why are we in Silent Hill 1? Is that why it's shattered memories? We're like, we're just, it's doing like a retelling of the first game or bits and pieces of all of the games of the originals? Or is it just Silent Hill 1? Oh, that's wild. All right, I need to get used to a new control scheme. This is, it's third person. I can zoom in. I have a sprint with left trigger. Oh god, I can, ooh, I can look behind me with R1. Oh, that's really weird. Even with the flashlight as well. Harry's got glasses now. He's got some representation for the, for the blind fellas who can't see shit. <laughs> oh, I can press the A button. I can press the A, press A to Cheryl. Yes. Cheryl. Press A to Cheryl. Perfect. Oh, God. Press A to Cheryl. Okay. Uh, let's not look at hints right now. Let's just... Let's process this. Let's process what's happening. This area does not look... Ah! What the fuck? Cheryl! Do we have an interact button that isn't... Oh, it's not Cheryl's. <laughs> You'd hope not, dude. <laughs> Alright, uh, the circle button is interact. Instead of the A button is... For, uh, sorry, I'm mixing my Xbox and... Um, my Xbox and my P PlayStation controls in one. So the X button is... Cheryl? Press press X to Cheryl. Cheryl! Uh, it's because I'm using... I'm using an Xbox controller. Uh, but I obviously it is on a PlayStation. So... Um, I'm, I'm going to probably mix up those buttons. Press X to Cheryl. And also press X to climb. But press circle to, like, interact with the environment. Ooh. Oh, you have to, like, hold it down to... That's really weird. Okay. You, like, period... Oh, yeah. You like periodically go through the door, holding it down. Mm -mm. Hey, James. No, Harry. Who even am I, dude? Won't comment. You won't comment on uh, a nice family photo, but you'll comment on that calendar, you scumbag. Not now. Oh, I have to look at it. No, nothing to say about that. So beer and women, that's all that's on your mind, huh, Harry? Not not family? You know, you'd think you'd have family values on your mind with the fact that you have a daughter and you're looking for her, huh? Just seeing if there's anything I can interact with at this uh, at this point in time. Oh, going through doors is so weird. Silent one. Phones out. Riverside Motel, Lakeview Hotel, Brookhaven Hospital, Alcamel Hospital. Spooky. Maybe she went to the restroom. Even though it is for males. Let's go. Have a look in the restroom. Oh, um, okay. Cammy Boone was spit roasted by the entire cuckoos of uh, Harry. Uh, Harry, what the fuck are you doing? 
Cheerleader or Cuckoo's Rule. Five to one, baby. Nice. That's me. Here, we can recreate the Silent Hill 2 opening here too. Just have a look in the mirror, all creepy like in the bathroom. Bad girls, over 18. Why is this so sexualized? I'm so confused. <laughs> They're like, do you like to role play in the bedroom? Have you ever cheated on a partner? Do you ever get gangbanged by the whole football team and then also... <laughs> what the fuck? It's everywhere. <laughs> okay. Cheryl. Sweetie. Cheryl. Oh no. Sweetie. I love the variations of, of call outs. Cheryl. 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 Sweetie. 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 Have I gone my entire life without knowing that we got a Silent Hill 1 remake? Like, is this a Silent... This is a Silent Hill 1 remake. This is Sweetie. bizarre. Maybe that's why the rumors about Blue Batim remaking Silent Hill 2 are happening, because they already remade the first game. And it's this one. And then we have to see what Blue Batim can do. Because we all know Blue Batim are amazing. World interaction. To grab hold of objects, move the hand cursor over them and grab by holding the X button. Okay, so this would probably be the the motion controls. This, ah, uh, I see. So, ah, uh, this would have been interesting. I can see how this would have been quite cool with the motion controls. Like, it's like you're actually the one interacting with the door. That's kind of cool. I like that. Actually, that looks like we're, that's where we're supposed to go, so give me a sec. Because I think... Let me just try this door. Cheryl. Yeah, that is not a... Yep, never mind. I just wanted to quickly check that. Let's go back through here. This is so weird, dude. Alright, we're back outside. Usually, it was... Walking right into a service station after we crashed, but it's... uh. It's changed. Cheryl! <laughs> Love when you're inside, it's just like, sweetie, and you're outside, it's like, Cheryl! Cheryl! I mean, he's putting his whole fucking heart into that screen, let me tell you. Cheryl! <laughs> Is this place actually open? Clear picture. Camera, TV, and appliances. I'm really confused about why there's a third, first person segment with, a th with, ah! With a therapist. So there's a, there's a first person segment with a therapist. But then we're also playing as Harry Mason with glasses. Going after Cheryl. Video store man fucked up. Unlocks. Often Harry will find his path blocked by a locked door. He should search nearby for the means to unlock it, a key or some other mechanism. Or else. Nice. Our first door and it's locked. Classic Silent Hill, except it can be opened. Freshly legal young flesh too. Filth. Beacon 13, they're showing us the way. Night Drive. Frankenstein 90, the monster is loose. Oh, the door release is on the TV. Don't forget to buzz. Oh, hang on. Oh, you have to literally just highlight... Okay. It won't work until you highlight it on the door. Uh, on, the, on the screen, okay. Interesting. You have to be highlighting it on the screen first. Visual confirmation we did it right. There you go. Mr. Milky! Have you seen my cat? He is brown with black stripes. If you see him, please contact Bobby Ashton. That is a huge poster for a missing for a missing pet. Usually they're like A4 pieces of paper. That is like that would be expensive to print all those out, man. 
Can I climb? Yep. Athleticism. On full display. Can I pull this down? Nope. Oh god, I didn't mean to climb over yet. I meant to press X to Cheryl first. I wanted to press X to Cheryl. Cheryl! Exactly, there we go. Alright, now I'll climb over. Cheryl! Cheryl! Can't interact with this. I could interact with Creepy Baby, but not this. Magic Steps Dance School. I'm actually surprised at ha how this is going so far, because in the first game, in the original, you walk out, get trapped down a fucking creepy hallway, it just turns into the most nightmare shit you've ever seen. You get attacked by zombie children. Um, dead dog. And then you wake up in a... And then Sybil says, how's it going? Oh, this is so weird. Why am I? Do why are we doing this? Oh, you can so you can grab items. This is how you grab and rotate items. Okay. Cheryl! Is there a reason for that? Ah, oh, bruh. Okay, there is a reason for it. I was like, just rotate them all until something happens. <laughs> it's got a key in it. Okay. Clever. Dead dog Parsi. Oh, I didn't even notice that this was locked. There you go. Just figuring it out. Ahead of time. <gasps> Playground rules. They crossed out the drugs, alcohol, and smoking. It's all good to go. At Bodkin, your family is our priority because life is too precious. And they couldn't afford the rest of the billboard space, so it's only one person on there, barely. Oh god. No thank you. <gasps> Dude, this is the diner! Or, the good old days Irish pub. Um... We start in a diner, after we wake up, usually when we got, like, knocked out, right? Is Sybil in the diner right now? Okay, maybe not. We're going into the Irish pub first. Um, god, this is so bizarre. We didn't see Sybil in an opening cutscene or anything, it was just Harry losing his way on the icy road, and then Cheryl was just gone. <gasps> New character, alright. Sybil is not the first person that we see in Silent Hill. Irish bartender. Hallelujah. I knew this weather couldn't keep everyone away. Name your poison. I'm looking for my daughter. In this weather? If she's out, she'll be at the Balkan. That's a bar over on Block Street. No, she's a little girl. She's seven years old. We were in a car accident. I came to and she was gone. Oh, shit. I'd offer to call for help, but the phones are all out because of the storm. The town's kind of empty. This is her. Oh, a real daddy's girl. If you see her. This your ID? Yeah. Well, it says you live at Levin Street. That's a few blocks from here. Levin Street? That's where I live. That accident of yours, you take a knock to the head? <sighs> yeah. Your phone? My phone? Why does it sound like that? That is an awful ringtone. It cut off. 
Like I said, bones are all shot to hell. I think that was her. She must be at the house. Wait. Have a drink before you head out. You seem pretty shaken up. I need to get home. She must be waiting for me there. Okay. I'm going to lock up out back. No point in staying open in this weather. <laughs> Best of luck. Oh, press press circle to take out Harry's cell phone at as many uses. You can take photos, use GPS, or dial numbers that you find. <gasps> you can actually dial numbers? This is bizarre. What the fuck is going on? I blew up my phone! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> can I change the ringtone, like, immediately? Alright, settings. Yes! You can actually change the ringtone! What the fuck? <laughs> you can actually change it. Oh, man. I was just joking, but that's fine. I'll take it. What is the least annoying one? Oh god. That's the least annoying one. Because it's the quietest one. Alright, ringtone 3 it is. Uh, you can save the game from here. You can save the game on your phone? Does that mean you, there's no save points? You can just save wherever you want? <gasps> you can save wherever you want. Oh, this is so bizarre. <laughs> oh, look at the frame rate, dude. Can I zoom in? Oh, you can! What the fuck? Um, I just find it so funny that there is a tip jar uh, over there. Uh, because it's like, why would you have your tip jar um, not on the, not on the thing. For me to tip. I guess I have to give you the, the money and then you put it in there so people can't steal it. So it's probably actually a smart and sensible security measure. Um, gotta take a photo with a game. Mmm, take a, gotta take a photo with a game. Okay. Um. And then I can look at my, oh. I guess it didn't save the photo. Okay, messages, no messages, dial, phone book, I just have home, what kind of a phone is this? Hello, Cheryl, sweetie, damn, damn, okay, oh my god, the map is on here too. Oh, thank, thank God. Thank God we can... Oh, my God! It's all of Silent Hill, even Toluca Lake. This is the biggest zoom out we've ever been given on a on one screen before of Silent Hill. It always comes on multiple pages. Technology, the modern age. We can just fucking have the full map. Silent Hill is actually quite huge. And I love that there's, like, because of the size of it, uh, the games take place in just, like, different areas... And you only, but you're still managing to always go to Alcamilla Hospital. Okay. How interesting. We have a phone. I like how I'm like, we should get back. Uh, <laughs> we should, I should get That's my back. game. Oh, is it? That's my game. They got power here. Max Sports. Nah. Okay. So we could call that uh, billboard on the outside if we wanted to. Have a drink. Be a king. Okay. And Irish pub lady is gone. Oh! Mementos! This town is home to many lost and discarded objects. Although these mementos have no practical value or purpose, they once meant something to someone. Uh, a winter beacon. Covering himself with light, as with a cloak, stretching out the heavens as a curtain. Psalm 104, 2. 
Uh, and in the papyrus font, no less. There you go. Oh, winter beacon. Memento stored. I was like, can I play darts? No. But here's a snow globe. this guy's voice but I don't know where to pin the voice actor I recognize it from somewhere so we're not going to the diner what a misdirect new waypoint 1206 Levin Street oh does that actually get added onto the map huh cool God, it's <laughs> pulling your phone out like that's so funny. Okay. Um, God. Um, let's try and call this number. 555-3800. Back the way I came. Uh, echo photos. Oh, God. What? There is a layer of reality that cannot be seen with the naked eye. Something is odd about the swing in this playground. Try photographing it with a cell phone. Oh. Echo fo Oh, look, it's like kind of, uh... Okay. So there's like... Like, uh, visual clues to you being able to see it. It's not like just randomly hidden. So it's like similar to Otherworld, except it's like a, this echo thing with your phone. Take a photo of it. Ugh. I got a message. New voicemail. Daddy, I need you. Daddy, I need. Okay, so you go... Oh, that's so weird. That's creepy. So, do you have to, like, I think, oh, you have to, like, capture it, and then you save it. And now it's in there? Yep, there it is. Taking photos of children at the playground. Ghost children, so it's fine. Okay. Oh man, I'm I'm stressed if uh, when they add combat to the to the mix here because this this game controls very interestingly. So as soon as uh, they're gonna put a gun in my hands, I'm gonna be. I think well, it's third person. I feel like it could work. I am a little confused with the control screen though because it's right trigger to zoom and left trigger to to run. And that's in a third person game. Intuitively, that would be aim and shoot. So, I'm scared for when they put a weapon in my hands. <laughs> because <laughs> I feel like it's got to control really fucking strangely. Especially because, yeah, there's a look behind us button as well. What the hell? Echo. Oh! Echo messages. Strong emotions have a habit of attaching themselves to objects. Something in this room is interfering with Harry's cell phone. Listen to the whine and hone in on the disturbance. I quite like this. This is really interesting. It's very strange, but... <laughs> it's like this like freaking you out dude it's like it's getting so loud to have and to hold from this day forward for better for worse in sickness and in health whatever ails us whatever weaknesses our flesh may suffer under our love will cure all ills our love will be our rock when you just be listening to uh, someone else's like wedding vows let's go 
So echo photos, echo messages. Creepy. All right, where are we on? Let me pull out my phone. I guess this would this would have been the the era of video games where the phone thing was like you know one of those video game trends. The one that comes to mind immediately is GTA 4. Like GTA 4's phone was so good. <laughs> It's like, every game's gotta have a phone now, because it's the future. Um, okay, so I guess we're just... It feels like I'm making no progress at all. Alright, let's run. Oh, hello. Cheryl? Daddy? Daddy? Sweetie, you're okay? Are you at home? Sweetie, wait there. Wait for me. You have to run, Daddy. You can't fight them. Run! What? Is somebody with you? Cheryl! I'm coming to get you! Damn it! What the fuck? Oh! What the fuck? Oh, what is happening? <laughs> What the fuck is happening? Why is the ground black? Oh god, what is... Oh god... Oh! What is happening? Can I... Oh... Oh... Um... Whoa! Okay... Whoa... Oh... Did we get just did we just get transitioned to to other world? Except in this game it's icy instead of like what we're used to seeing. What the fuck? Am I supposed to go here? Okay, the car alarm was leading me to my destination. What the fuck? It's a dumpster. Yeah, this is like a weird icy other world thing. the fastest we've ever opened a door. What the fuck? Find the exit. Run at the blue edges that mark routes. Okay. Listen for the distortion that precedes danger. Find the exit to Levin Street and ex escape the nightmare. Okay. We are in a nightmare. Um, find blue... Oh, okay. Oh. So, in the nightmares, you have to navigate areas that are marked by a light blue thing and escape it. Okay. I see. That's weird. Ah! Oh! Ah! You have to run. Okay, what the fuck? What the fuck? Oh! <laughs> what the fuck? That's, oh, it's so... Uh, ah! <laughs> There, they are many. They cannot be killed or hurt. Throw them off and run. Lose them. Find the exit and escape the nightmare. What the fuck? Ah! What is happening? Oh my god! There's so many of them. What the fuck? Oh my dear lord. Oh my god. They can jump on you while you're climbing. What the fuck is this game? What is happening? What the fuck is going on? Oh my god. Oh my god, you can hide. Oh no. Not the first person hiding. What is this, Outlast? The creatures cannot be hurt or killed. I don't have any weapons. 
How long until they go away? There's still a lot of disturbance in here. <gasps> and that they actually do go away. Nice. They gave up the search. Nice. Only for there to be more disturbance again. Oh. There was a door to the left, but there's also something straight ahead. I don't know. Is there just multiple ways to go? Go for a swim. Oh, the pool's empty. Oh shit. In water ending. Emergency flares light the flare with L1. The heat will hold off the creatures while it lasts. Harry can also create a temporary barrier by throwing down a lit flare by pressing L1 again. Ooh. Ah. Oh! Ah! It seems like there's just multiple directions that you can go, just as long as you pick somewhere that has a blue fucking outline, I suppose. And you can pick up items to... You can pick up items to throw them off to protect you or, like, throw down fucking shit in the environment. And they're scared of heat because they come from the, the cold, icy nightmares. Home. Or at least it used to be. Before I fucked everything up. It's good that we touched on the car crash. What the fuck? That would have been a breakthrough before. But let's leave that topic for a while. I want to talk about... Family. family. It's important to you. For you, family is about physical affection and making your feelings known. You're giving me that look. I'm talking too much. Well, let's have you talk, or not, or whatever you feel comfortable doing. Let's play true or false. Is it true to say you're a private person? Okay. So... In between gameplay segments, <laughs> in, be in between gameplay segments, Therapy Man is just going to ask us questions. So we're Harry in therapy recalling the shattered memories of the events of uh, Silent Hill 1. When you boot up the game, um, it has a giant red screen that just says, like, WARNING! This game psychologically adapts to you or something like that. So I guess this is what that meant. Is, um... This is horror and therapy, all mixed in one. I would say I'm a private person, for as much as I can be. <laughs> Would you say it takes a while for people to get to know you? Yes, I feel like I, this this whole game is just yes and true. Uh huh. People can choose their friends, but not their family. Would you prefer to spend time with friends over family? This guy looks so evil. Nothing surprising there. No. You're going to like this. On the table are some pencils and a picture. I want you to let out your inner child and color in the picture. It's titled Happy Family. Okay. <laughs> I have to I have to actually do it. Alright, uh The car was red. How did Oh nice, it's just like a fill option. Ah, guys. Look! Silent Hill! Isn't this what you remember in Silent Hill? This Silent Hill game where you do coloring. Silent Hill. Oh god. I hang on. Can I can I take that back? Oh, that's brown. Where's my just can I just have a lead pencil for gray? I guess we'll just do that then. Okay. Oh. Hang on. The way that this works is is fascinating. Um this is this is very interesting. Um, just 
turn everything in black. It's all darkness. Um, orange house. Mm -mm. What? Are, <laughs> um, gotta make it match. Okay. Um, pink window. <laughs> This couple like to, they like to match their, their clothes together. When they go out in the mornings, on their morning jogs, they like to, oh no, not the arm. Couldn't even do the arm correctly. Um, but something that you didn't know about them is that they're actually aliens from outer space. And you can tell that by the green skin. Gotta get the arm. This is very awkward to control. Okay. Um, shoes. Let me get the brown shoes. Get the. There we go. There we go. Oh, I guess they're red shoes now. There was an actual red. This is like a darker red, I suppose. Hang on. Oh, this is the brown one. That's why. Right, hold on. The brown shoes. This is exactly what I thought Silent Hill was going to be when I put this on the channel. Silent Hill Therapy Coloring Simulator. Sometimes you do it and it doesn't properly. It's like when you use the select tool in Photoshop and it doesn't quite work how you expect it to. Because it, I guess it uses the same logic. Alright, brown trees. Uh, let me get that. Let me get the this color green. I like this color green for my trees, not a lighter green. There you go. Gotta get in these little gaps too. Actually, something I could do. If I don't get that, it's gonna bug me. Come on. There we go. Oh, it doesn't color it all in. It 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 actually hurts. It it hurts. Um Oh my god. No! <laughs> I mean... That's right. Don't get angry in therapy. We spoke about this. <laughs> You're supposed to be calm and tranquil right now. I could use a lighter green for like... Oh, oh. It's... No, nope, it's too light. That's not gonna work. That's, that's too bright. Um, that is not a good blue... For the for the for a night sky, I guess it, I guess it's daytime. Whether you wanted it or not, it's daytime. There you go. Okay. I think that's still part of the house. I genuinely can't believe how long I'm doing this for. <laughs> um, red door. Nope. Orange. Oh, that red is so hard to look at. Alright, red garage doors as well. Fuck it. Uh, get the... I'm already limited with my color scheme here. I don't know why it's pink on the inside of the house. Something's going on in there. Oh, it just colors in that whole section? Okay, we'll make that this. and Actually, that. Yeah, that's better. That's a better red. Um, let's have some red roofing too. Just, just for something different. There you go. Okay. I'm just keep putting it exactly on that area where it won't color the whole thing. There we go. Okay. Uh, I guess we'll use. Is that? Is it icy? Is it? Is it? Are we in a snowy place? It's sunny. Let's let's just make this grass. Just vomit putrid green grass. That this family loves because it reminds them of home right it reminds them of home okay let's get some purple in here there's not enough purple we got some purple fences god such a vibrant purple um, get in here with that come on uh, probably just gonna brown this one to be honest with you there you go and maybe this. I don't know what's going on over here, so we're just going to pretend that that's the that's the sky as well. Uh, we haven't given them 
funky hair yet. Okay, yellow hair. They're blondies. Perfect. Look at that. That's picture perfect. I'm actually, I just realized the, the more I look at it, the more I see things that I forgot to do. Almost picture perfect. Hold on. Just this one. There you go. Let's just put the car light on. There you go. Yellow and then red on the back. But the darker red to not conflict with the existing red. Perfect. We did it. Beautiful. How's that? Finished. Yeah, how's it? It looks good, huh? That's, that's fucking... That's, that's a beautiful image. Yep. What a lovely family home. Yep, that took Is me a really long time. Like this? That took me a really long time, okay? And then you flash back to the game and you look at it and it's like fucking bright orange. <laughs> oh, it actually changed the colors! It actually looks like how I colored it. It's got the dark red door. And the red mailbox. Oh, that's fucking weird. It actually changed the the shaders on the house. That's awesome. Dad? Are you okay, son? Yeah. <laughs> what are you people doing oh. in my house? Cheryl! Easy there. This isn't your house. Some trouble, honey? No, Lucy, this man here is just a little confused. This is my house! Well, I don't see how that can be the case. We've been here nearly 14 years. Sure you got the right address? Who was that? That was our daughter, Katie. You're in a bad way, son, getting yourself all worked up. Are you okay? I am not okay! I was in a car accident! My daughter is gone! And you people are in my house! This is all wrong! You're starting to make a scene. This doesn't make sense. Not at all. Cheryl! You are upsetting my wife. Get the hell out of my house! It's my house! It's my damn house! Cheryl! It's my house. I colored it in and everything. I was like, I straight up was expecting it to be our dad for some reason, and then when he goes, hey, son, I was like, oh, he's calling me son. But no, he's just doing the thing where you just kind of call everyone son. Is this Sybil then? This will be Sybil? Sir, you come down here for me? Okay, bro. Officer, there are people in my house. They have my daughter. I was in a car accident. That's not the story I got. Can I see some ID? Harry Mason. This is the right address. You know what? This doesn't add up. I'm gonna need you to come down to the station with me. We can sort it out there. No. My daughter is in there somewhere. She's missing. I'm a police officer, Mr. Mason, and I need you to come with me. These people don't have your daughter. Trust me. If she's missing, we will find her. Booba. Booba. You know what's funny? I've been a cop in this town for 20 years. Before that, I used to ride around in my daddy's patrol car, so I know the town, know the people. But your face? I don't know you. I keep out of trouble. Not tonight. <sighs> well, I guess tonight everything is out of whack. Ooh. Why are we the only car on the road? No one's sane out driving tonight. Sorry, I didn't mean to. It's okay. What Let me out of here. Know? Who knows? We only covered basic meteorology in the academy. Hell, we didn't hear about this till it was happening. Barely had time to close off the major highways. It's like the whole town is being punished. It's only weather. Sure. Let me out of here. <laughs> the fuck? 
I found it so weird that we can we're not even strapped in the seatbelt, dude. We can just change okay, fucking. Okay. <laughs> sure. Holding up. I'm sure your daughter's okay. We've just got to clear this thing up. We should probably get you to the hospital too once we know she's safe. <sighs> I'm fine. The human brain is a delicate thing, Harry. Need to get you checked out. Yeah. My dad thought he was tough. He got hit on the head by a punk resisting arrest. He was never the same after that. You gotta look after yourself, Harry, for your daughter's sake. It is. It is Sybil. Sybil Bennett. Damn, this snow is crazy. Oh, I can't see the road. Wait here. I'm just gonna check where we are. I'll be here. Warming up the seats with my butt cheeks. Oh, zoom and interact. Quick, drive out of here. Where's she gone? Oh, oh, haha. -ha. Quick, in the uh, in the glove box. There's gonna be a weapon in there. Give me a give me a gun. Yeah. Damn it. Hidden fire. Oh well, I can keep him. Stole! Memento stored. Stolen. Uh, she kissed that. Okay. Not really getting anything there. No, 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 go back in the... This is so weird. And over there. And drive! Sybil Bennett. Okay. Um. Eh. Ah. <laughs> Sybil! No press X to sh Sybil. Okay, she's just gone. Silent Hill Police Station, Dusk Sergeant Thompson. How can we help? My daughter is missing. Okay, sir. Can you give me your name? Harry. Harry Mason. Okay. Mr. Mason. Whereabouts are you calling from? Why? It's okay, Mr. Mason. Remain Why? calm. I just want to send someone out to... to help you. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, I actually... I don't want your fucking help. I don't want your fucking help. I'll find my daughter on my own. With all I got is me and the stolen pack of smokes. Okay, hang on. Oh. Ah. There you go. Okay. Sybil's just taking a piss break and we're just gonna kick the door down. Oh! Ooh. I got a thing happening. Ah! Stranded. Damn it, Mom. Why do you never pick up? I need you. I'm at a party in the woods, but I'm feeling uncomfortable. I need you to come pick me up. Damn it, Mom. Sybil. Broken radio. You are here. Okay, someone's pants. Gonna need a key. I I think I finally figured out uh, where this guy's voice is from. This guy voices um, one of the members of Organization Thirteen in Kingdom Hearts. Um, it's uh, and I'm trying to remember the the exact name of his character too. Uh, his real name, it's funny that I'm, I'm getting the real name, he's the one who's best friends with Axel, and I'm, for some reason I'm only remembering his, 
human name, not his nobody name. It's uh, Lee and Isa. He voices Isa. Why can't I remember? Oh, Syx. There you go. You just have to take their name and chuck an X in it. That's the Tetsuya Nomura way. Um, yeah, Syx from Kingdom Hearts. Which is so bizarre. Ah, yes. The first aid key. <laughs> yep. That's where I keep my keys in the first aid box. Wonderful. Um, logically, Sybil should not be this way because the door was locked and the key was in the first aid kit, but Harry is not thinking clearly. I'm waiting for Slender Man to pop up in a sec. I don't like this. I no longer have a press A, uh, press X to call out to people button. We're just going to follow the path. Sybil! Cheryl! Cheryl! Sybil! Sweetie! Where are we on the map right now? Orion Lodge. Oh, we're actually near the police- the pump st- oh, I thought it said police station. Okay. Why are we driving- we were driving out of town. Caldecott Pond. Alright, let's head to- I guess we're heading to the pump station. Can't see shit! Ah, there you go. A house. River fishing regulation. I've been fishing since I was a kid. Oh. Ah, there's a phone number. State Department of Natural Resources. 3474. The operation center is closed right now. If you are calling for information regarding the upcoming conservation education seminars, please call back during office hours or refer to our website. In the event of an out-of-hours emergency, please call local emergency services. Okay. So you can save- oh yeah, I need to remember that I can just save the game whenever, right? There isn't a save point thing, it's just... Save. In your phone. Okay. Der- Der Oswind. Dear Oswind. Um, and the jetty's broken, so I guess that's... Okay. Henry's on the lake, live bait. Henry from Silent Hill 4. Toluca I Lake. See. I see. I just automatically jumped up here. Okay. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Fucking okay. Oh. I got a thing for my phone. Oh, stranded. Whoa. Someone slipped the new girl a Mickey and things got out of hand. Wild and crazy. Feel kind of bad for her. Oh, Jesus Christ. So you can actually get text messages as well with image attachments. Sheesh. No. Not in the to the pump station. Okay. 
Oh, county weather service. You uh, see a number, gotta call it. Weather. Give me that. Give me that update. Is it snowing? Storm accumulation of 14 to 20 inches is expected by late today. Temperatures will fall to near 10 degrees above zero this morning, resulting in wind chills of near 10 below zero, snow and blowing snow, along with the coldest air of the season. The deepening storm system will push across the state this morning, strengthening north to northwest winds that will pull Arctic air down across the state. These winds will be gusty through the day. The result of the gusty winds will be areas of snow and blowing snow that will reduce visibility. In addition to the combination of brisk winds and falling temperatures, into the single digits above and below zero will produce very low wind chills. In the single digits and teens below zero. Well, they didn't. They didn't skip out on a. Uh, they didn't. They didn't skip out on the. Uh, on the weather report. How does that? That was a detailed weather report. Oh. You thought you couldn't see shit before. Now look. Now look what you've done. Okay. Just a series of pump station hallways. And graffiti. At some point, this stops becoming about a search for Sybil, and this is just us just fucking around. We just going wherever we want at this point. Where the fuck am I? Where am I? Where am I? Where am I going, dude? What the fuck? Where am I? Where are we headed? Destination, please. Oh, hang on. Oh. Oh. Babes in the wood. It's so cold, but I'm happy because I know I will see my brother again soon. Lying down now, cold. A bird just put a leaf on me, or did I dream it? Love you all. Alright, uh, I don't know where the fuck we're going. We don't have a waypoint, do we? We are just fucking vibing. We're just vibing in the woods. We are... We're just so high right now. Oh no, now we're back here. I remember being here. Where am I going? <laughs> um... Fuck. Should I just... Should I go to Orion... I should go to Orion Lodge then. Let's just try to go to the lodge. And not the pump station. Oh, you can actually... Okay. Oh, you can actually go in here. Ah. Frozen waters. Another memento, okay. So I guess whenever you're just out on the map, anywhere that's like a red thing is where we where we can check out, I suppose. It'd be nice if, like, after you'd explored or if there's nothing there for you anymore, it, like, changes color so you can remember where you've been. Uh, let's try the ranger station. Let's try the ranger station. Or is it fenced off? Aha. Uh -huh. Oh wait, this is where I came from. Damn it, I've already been here before. <laughs> um, this is the part of the game where we just get lost. Alright, I came from the ranger station. Am I supposed to be heading to the thing that's just marked X, maybe? Alright, I'm, I'm heading back. Maybe we can just... I don't know, we'll, f we'll figure it out. Just gonna run around aimlessly for a while until... Uh, I find where I'm supposed to be. Okay, I think Orion Lodge was like just around the corner of the pump station. 
Oh, there's two entrances? Oh, there's an echo photo here. Uh, okay. Is this, why does that look like an animal in the sink? Because it is. That is an animal carcass in the sink. Great. Okay. Cycle of death. Joel Jr.'s first kill! It was a biggie too. 190 pounds, field dressed. Got him in the neck, went down like a dead weight. My son is a man now. Joel Jr. Okay. Guns Hunters. Oh, okay. Mmm. Okay. I can't grab it. So uh, I can't grab it, the rabbit, but that's fine. A broken ward. Alright, got another memento. We do be... Ah, oh, right, yeah, okay. We do be just rocking these mementos. Safety flashlight. Okay. Okay, so that's Orion Lodge. And then I guess if we continue heading up the road, we'll end up there. But it's fenced off, so... Oh! Nice. Oh, hang on. I think I'm out the back. Hang on. Yeah, there's more. Okay. Condoms. <laughs> We're back in the great outdoors. <laughs> what the fuck, bro? What the fuck? <laughs> Going raw, baby. Give me that knife. A movable feast. Okay. Oh! Jesus. Hello. Ah. Okay. Okay, so this was the front door. We went in that side door. Now if we... Oh my god. <laughs> Go through here. Spooky looking red doors. And now we follow the road down, I suppose. Oh. Sybil. Mr. Mason. Officer Bennett. What's going on? I'm looking for you. Where the hell did you run off to? I'm in some woods. You just ran from a police officer. What? Come on. Look, Mr. Mason. I need to find my daughter. Christ. I'm not under arrest, am I? Mr. Mason! Get yourself back here now. Do not make things difficult for yourself. I'm heading back to town. New contact added. Alright, cool. So, uh, we're just heading back to town. Fuck you, Sybil. I'm gonna tell you- I'm gonna- I'm on the run, but I'm gonna tell you where I'm from. And where I'm headed. Harry. Harry. Okay. Just we're just some confused man running through the woods at night on the, the weirdest drug trip of our lives post-traumatic car incident. Aha. Uh -huh. We'll drive back into town. 
How am I driving? Nope. Good driving. Hi, you've reached How Am I Driving? Please state the incident you wish to report. Offensive behavior, illegal parking, curb crawling, tailgating. Okay. Well, we're not driving out of here. It's a bit snowed in. Gonna need a key. Gonna need a key. Did we check underneath the doormat? Okay. Follow the blood trail. To the wallet. Hey, yeah, with the key in it. Yeah. With the bloody wallet. Perfect. This will be fine. Nothing will nothing bad is about to happen here. God, it's just getting increasingly like so instead of having your radio sound, you have like this VHS static instead. Stay back. I'll take a photo of you. Uh, oh! I caught that shit on camera. I got it. Actually, I didn't save it. Damn it. I almost had footage on camera. Okay, it's turning into nightmare mode, isn't it? So I need to escape the nightmare? Fuck's sake. Okay. <laughs> Shit. Yep. All right. Uh. Oh, I just got a what? Okay. New waypoint added all the way down there. X marks the spot. Let's fucking go. Okay. We just run in straight ahead. I think. Um... God, the music. If you could call it that right now. So, there's just like these... It looks like... When it turns into nightmare mode... You follow the blue lights... And... You get chased by monsters that you can't kill or hurt and you can only hide from them. I'm beginning to get the vibe that potentially... Oh god. Potentially there might not be combat in the game. And there's just running. Oh my god. Ah! Oh my god. I'm getting the... Ah! I'm getting the vibe that there's a lot of running. And hide. Oh! Look at its face! What the fuck is that? Drop the f no! Drop the fucking flare on the ground. Let's go. Fuck you, dude. He's got a fucking weird butthole. Oh, quick! Yeah, fucking train cart. Let's go. Oh god. Uh, it's blue. No. Okay. Just fucking run. What the fuck? Fuck you. You'll never take me alive! Never get between a man and his daughter. God fucking damn it. Um. Uh. Oh shit. That's a dead end. Um. Yeah, so I think it's just. There's no combat. That's at least the vibe I'm getting so far. I'm kind of grateful for that because I feel like the controls don't really necessarily allow for combat to happen. So that makes sense. Where the fuck am I now? Ah! How am I supposed to check a map in this, in none of these circumstances? Where the fuck do I go from here? Oh my god. Uh, get off of my dick. I just put it down in front of myself. Am I going the right way? 
Here, let me pull a phone out real quick. What the fuck? Oh god, look at what- look at this! <laughs> look at what I'm doing! I need to be going this way. Okay. Run! <laughs> Alright, this way. Um, what the fuck? Ah. This is a terrible experience all, all around. Fuck you! I wanna die. Going in here. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Fucking stop! Ah! Oh! Kick him in the fucking face! Oh my god! How much longer till I get out of this fucking nightmare, dude? Uh, oh, come on! Get, get off of me! Ah, my god! When will it end? Oh! Stop! I'm on the weirdest fucking journey! <laughs> I'm on the weirdest fucking journey right now, dude. Oh my god. Where the fuck am I? Oh my god, there's so many doors? Which is the right one? Where the fuck? How am I supposed to- Look at what I- <laughs> How am I supposed to check a map? How the fuck are you supposed to check a map to see which direction you're going, dude? What the fuck? What the fuck? Pull out the GPS. Yeah, I know, dude. How the fuck am I supposed to do this while I'm being chased? You can see them on the... What the fuck? This is fucked. Oh, thank you. Thank you for waiting for me. While I was fucking... Fuck, trying to figure out where to go. Thank you. What the fuck? This is awful. Okay. Uh... Oh. So this is where we were before. Where the fuck do I go from here? I'm just gonna go in this door again. This is the ah! this is the first one we went into. Stop! Oh god! I hate pressing the wrong fucking button. Come on! Ah! You have to press two at the same time. Okay, so in Oh, yep. Yep. I'm gonna go this way. Because I think maybe we didn't go this way before. And then I'm gonna go up here, maybe? Fucking... Ah! Oh, I just ran through him. Ah! No, I've been in this room before. I've, I've seen that thing. Ah! Uh, I've just run around in circles, dude! How the fuck? Turn around. I'm in the wrong house. I'm in the wrong house. Oh, look at him just politely open the door! <laughs> look at all the fucking things. <laughs> Get- climb down! What the fuck? Fuck off! <laughs> climb down, you fuck! Motherfucker! <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> this is a fucking nightmare, dude. Yeah, sorry, you just have to wait. I'm just checking my phone. 
Oh, man. I need to get down there. How the fuck do I do that? <laughs> it's not so simple. Look at them all. I've already forgotten where I am. I just straight up don't know how to get to them. Because this is where we came from. This is so fucked. The first one was fine. This is just... Crazy. So where do I go from here? I'm just stuck... I'm sick of this house. I'm sick of this house, dude. I'm sick of this house in particular. I'm trapped in this fucking mill. Okay. From here, can I go somewhere else? I think I can go somewhere else from here. There we go. This way. Oh, I can't fucking see shit. I straight up just cannot fucking see shit. Oh my god, what the fuck is this bullshit? <laughs> This is such a sensory overload in my ears and on my eyes. This is an attack on all of my senses at once. It even smells like shit. Holy crap. <laughs> How the fuck are we supposed to do this? I need to breathe. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, picking a door again, running through it. Okay, I'm, 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 I'm back outside again. There is a collect- there's a correct path to go in these fucking doorways. But I swear to god we just keep getting fucking... We keep getting pushed in the same area every time. Is it like is it like a follow the light scenario? I think it might be like a follow the light scenario. Follow the lights. Oh my god, I think it is. It's a follow the light scenario. You have to follow those lights. My fucking god. This is a new this is a new house. Okay. Oh god, what the fuck? God, what the fuck? Okay, um, hang on. Ah. I'm on the phone. Yeah, I'm coming back early. This was a stupid idea. Mom! Not now, honey. Mommy's on the phone. Get out of bed. Play with your daughter. Mommy! Quack, hoot, squawk, squawk, Shush! Go show daddy. This whole trip was a bad idea. A week picnicking and cycling like that's gonna make it right. I'm still hurting. It feels fake. Shut up, I don't care! I wanna remember the fucking song! I won! Mom! I won! Alright. In a minute. 
Give me a second, Diane. God damn it. That, that went for so long and I'm like trying to figure out... Alright, it was... I got it. It's good to talk, Diane. I feel pretty alone out here. Hey, Mom. Be careful. <laughs> Where's your dad? <laughs> Mommy. Oh, Jesus. You're bleeding. Jesus. Okay, figuring out a puzzle. Got a, a new voicemail. I'm glad I'm not being chased through this house while I'm still in the nightmare and I was able to have a nice puzzle time. Oh, here we go back to this sensory fucking overload on my ears. Dirty, dirty, dirty. Follow the lights. What the fuck is that? What the fuck? Oh, it's a plane. Oh, God. Um. Ah! Follow the lights. Oh, man. Run. Oh, my God. I hate being. I hate that I can look behind me. I hate that I can look behind me. <laughs> this is why I can look behind me. It all makes sense now. Oh, my God. Uh. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Oh, shit. Get the fuck off of me. Uh, I'm following the light and hoping that it works. Oh, God, man. Ah, uh, I think also your phone makes the noise when you're heading in the right direction, too. Which is good. So I think, yeah, the phone also makes a, a good, uh, a correct noise for you. To pull you through. Yeah. No! Not you two. Go away. <laughs> Go away! <laughs> oh! <laughs> There's... There's so many of them. Stop. There's only so much running one man is capable of doing. Oh! I made it out. Okay. Holy fuck. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. Alright, where am I? Okay. I'm heading back into town over this bridge. I'm going to save the game here. And we are going to bring this episode of Silent Hill Shattered Memories to a close. That was the very first episode. Oh, interesting. We're playing a Silent Hill 1 remake uh, with no combat, running away while having all of my senses attacked simultaneously. Uh, Harry's a bit of a dork in this game. <laughs> um, so interesting. Uh, it's, it's genuinely, genuinely very interesting. The, the approach that they've taken for this one, not sure how I feel about it. It's an interesting first impression, but definitely not what I expected. It's very strange. Uh, there are parts that I like about it, parts that I'm not so sure about yet. We will have to find out. So thank you so much for watching this episode of Silent Hill Shattered Memories. I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope you're looking forward to the rest of the playthrough and I'll see you next time.